Hey guys, JH, welcome to the practice tee. Okay, just a little bit more today on uh, channel lock and again simplifying channel lock, just refining it. What you have to be really aware of and cognizant of is standing closer to the golf ball. At address. Now the whole idea of channel lock is to get connection here. We don't want reaching. As soon as we've got disconnection here with this trail arm, we immediately have a propensity to create arc in the backswing rather than straight line. The more we're here guys, the more we're inclined to do that as opposed to that. We don't want to do that. That's what you do in a conventional golf swing. You go sideways away from the golf ball, but we don't, we don't want to do that with channel lock. So to eliminate that, we simply get closer to the golf ball at address here. I mean, my, my arm is actually resting on my body here, right here. And the advantage of that is, um, clearly, it, it's much easier for me to swing to the side of my body without without getting too much sideways movement of the club and arc in the backswing. Really guys, off the ball, I'll do it from here, as a feeling off the ball, the club really, for me, the club doesn't feel like it goes sideways ever. It just goes here, straight there. It goes straight there. here. Now clearly it is still arcing but as a feel it's not like a normal feel where we have a sideways feeling in the golf swing where we feel the club in a normal golf swing we feel the club does that. Well I don't feel that because I don't want my golf swing feeling like it's going there and then it's coming back there because that's in front of my body. I want, I want the club to feel like it's going beside my body here on the backswing and it's attacking the ball from beside my body on the downswing. That's the channel right there guys. Simple stuff but that is the that is the reality. That is the channel right there. Now if you're someone that's having with, with channel lock, if you get miss hits guys, if you get you know you're hitting it along the ground or you're topping it or whatever That's, that's because you're not standing close enough to the ball at address and, and I'll tell you why that happens. If you think about standing you know, this far away here at address here with the, all this movement here and then we're trying to on the downswing keep the shoulders closed and, the, and this trail shoulder back, very hard for the, very hard for the club to get back there because I'm too far away from the ball because I want to keep this trail shoulder back which is going to stop that trail arm getting out to the ball. So if we stand closer to it like this here and we make our backswing, it's very easy to get on the ball here because I, I don't have to get any separation here to chase the ball. I'm just here, I just turn here and I return. And, I, and see I've still got that arm there so the radius is consistent. So if you're having trouble you know, not hitting the ball well and you're hitting it along the ground uh, you're too far away from it at address. Now the other thing is, which, which again this is revision, revision, revision with channel lock if you're getting miss hits, um, if you're hitting, flubbing the ground, or you know, topping it, or pulling it, or, or <laughs> heaven forbid, slicing it. I mean, you can't slice with with channel lock protocol. That is impossible to do. If you apply the protocol, because guys, how could you ever slice the ball if we've got a, a closed set of shoulders, which means the club has to come this way. It has to come from the inside to the ball. 
Now you can't slice the ball because the attack is inside to out. It's impossible to slice the ball from there. The only way you can slice it if you're letting this get away, letting this horse out of the corral. On the downswing, you're letting that happen and that'll get the club outside coming across it and you'll get you'll get a um, you'll get a out to end slicing action. But you can't do that with channel lock and that's a major, major benefit of channel lock in that you cannot get a slice or a cut type action because we're never across the line if we apply the protocol. Sure you can get across the line, you could set up like this all day with the best intentions and think yeah I'm gonna, but if you, if you start down and you do that you let that shoulder girdle go like that then you're outside the line, you can't do that guys the lead shoulder has to stay in that blocking position there and the more you can maintain the integrity of that trail side with the weight pushing down, the more that will add to, to that geometry of keeping those shoulders closed and the ball going into out, the more that will happen. So it's only, only just a, a basic uh, update and overview today. Um, so, so the message here is get closer to the ball at address. It's been raining here just a massive storm and there's just so much uh, um, water on the ground here. So here we are guys, we, re we don't want to be here, we don't want to be stretching, we don't want to have any space between that trail arm and the, the trail side of the body. Just here, be, be like the gunslinger in, in Da Vinci Code, very much the gunslinger here. Remember in Da Vinci Code we were here? With Da Vinci Code because we were here. This was always here. Well there's a lot of that in uh, in channel lock but the, the difference is we're firing from a back ball position and we're really going into out through the ball. So just revise again. Just want to go over these these bits so that there's that we've got absolutely no um, misunderstanding. We need to get right on top of the ball. Yeah. And guys, measure yourself out. Get get yourself in here, and then just shut. You know, shuffle into the ball. Don't 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 move this, and then you'll know you've got the right the right. Uh, um, the right distance from the ball. Don't move this. You have to move in. Just just move in until you can get to there. There. That's what you've got to do. Move in until you get to there. But if you've got a stretch for it here, well the single problem there is the, the more I stretch it there, the more I take my upper mass too far past its past its vertical um, center of gravity and 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 placement stabilization. A capability. So as soon as I do this here guys, look, what's happening? as soon as I do that I take that mass forward. I don't want to do that. I just want to have that mass supported and stabilized and then just shuttle into the ball here. There, that's all I want to do. So they're just little points but they they really are important little points. And now as I said before um, the protocol is that the ball is off the back foot, whether it's the middle, the, the big toe, the middle toe or the little toe, it doesn't matter, it just depends on you, the length of your components, where your mass is distributed and what you feel comfortable with. I just like to feel it there, just there, here, that's where I like to feel it there. Now I feel like I'm squatting and I'm really on top of the ball. I'm just there. I can be here. I can get to it that way. If I'm a long way away from it, here, and I'm toppled forward, I'm going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to balance that toppling or tippling feeling on the backswing. And, and that's very hard to do. So we're getting into a very snug address position. A very snug address position. Here. 
I'm here. Well, base, try and do this, guys. Try, try and get your configuration here with the club there. And then just lower the club down and just shuffle, in, shuffle into position the way you've got to get in here. Just do that. That's the best way to find it. If you don't have to move this from here, you've got the right measurement. You are already measured. Yeah, so guys, it's, uh, today it's, just, it's just, just an overview again, but with some, some reinforcing of the basics, uh, the basic mechanics. What I said before in the video, the last video, was how I think it's important to keep that, that configuration there in the backswing because that supports this trail side, keeps the integrity, plus it keeps the, the base of the spine in place. If we do that, the base of the spine moves. It moves and, and it takes all, uh, all that, that hip girdle stability away in the backswing. So if you can keep that there on the backswing, I actually feel when I'm hitting it good, I actually feel like I increase the flex in that in that trail leg on the backswing. Yeah, so guys, that, that's the basic message there. There's just a bit of rain coming in here, so I'll just quit here and I'll, I'll probably have a break for, for 10 or 15 minutes till the rain goes. And then I'll come back and I'll just hit some shots and we'll just talk about that configuration.